Is your Joomla site ready to be migrated to Joomla version 4? In this video, we're going to check out the compatibility testing tool, which is included in Joomla 3.10, which will help you answer that question. Hey there, Joomla fans. Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning into Maintenance Monday number 199 here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel, where I show you my favorite extensions, tools, and tips for building and maintaining Joomla sites. This video is brought to you by MySites.Guru. Head on over to MySites.Guru, get a free site audit for your Joomla site, and while you're there, check out all the information and tools that will help you save time and money managing one or multiple Joomla sites. And if you decide to subscribe, use the coupon code BASICJOOMLA. All right, so let's talk very quickly about migrating from Joomla 3.10 to Joomla 4. Now it is a migration, not an update. And the difference is this, an update would just be changing a few files. A migration is like taking a gas engine out of a car and putting an electric engine in. There's some things that you're going to keep, some things you don't need anymore, and there's gonna be some things that you need to change for compatibility. For instance, if you put an electric motor in a gas car after taking the gas engine out, you don't need the fuel tank, do you? So there may be things in Joomla 4 uh, that you no longer are using and you don't move over. But there might be things like the dashboard or the headlights that are going to run on totally different systems because out with the gas engine comes the generator, but now things are running off a of battery. And what you're going to do is update those parts of your car, of your site, that need to connect to the new engine. So that's why it's a migration. Now, the good news is, is that you can migrate your Joomla 3 site, once you update it to 3.10, to Joomla 4, but first you have to check to make sure all the extensions that you're using are compatible, because if you update too soon, you will break your site. And so let's uh, turn our attention to the screen here and jump right into this and check out the compatibility uh, tool uh, in Joomla 3.10. All right, so we are logged into the back end of the basicjoomla.com site, and I've just updated it to Joomla 3.10. So what you're going to do is go to Components, and then go down to Joomla Update, and right away you're going to see a pre-update check for Joomla 3.10. Now this is a little bit uh, misleading because it's already in 3.10. That's just part of uh, the update process. We're just gonna ignore all of this and go up to Options, and then we're going to check on the update channel. Instead of doing default, which runs that uh, compatibility test on 3.10, we're going to go to Joomla next. And now when we save and close, you'll see the pre-update check is for Joomla 4.0.0, which is the current version right now. In fact, 4.0.1 may be coming out very soon to fix up some little bugs that were found. Now, as this extension's pre-update check takes place, it's looking for at all of the extensions installed on your Joomla site to see if there is a, a message from the developer saying whether or not the, uh, their extension is compatible with Joomla 4. And whether, uh, oh, and the, you'll also see if there's no, nothing from the developer, it will also show things where, hey, we just don't know whether this is updatable or not. Once that scan runs, this pre-update uh, pre check, you can see some of the things that are found here, the extension name of things, potential upgrade issue, more information. This is all very generic. As we scroll down, you'll see there's a message here. Okay, here's something that does need to be updated. So CG Isotope, this is an extension that says it's not compatible yet, but it needs to be moved up. That's what I believe anyways. And then here's a whole bunch of things that don't need to be updated. Now, if we go back up to the top, Let's check on the tab Live Update. Now, Live Update is where you would do your uh, clicking in order to actually update from 3.10 to 4. But as you'll see, this Live Update page is drawing lots of information from the pre-update check. And so you'll see you're on the next uh, on the Joomla Next Update channel. Right now, we have Joomla 3.10 installed. Here's the latest Joomla version that is available, Joomla 4 on the uh, next update channel. And here's a warning. There are plugins installed and enabled that could interfere with the Joomla upgrade. 
and result in a failed upgrade that leaves the site inaccessible. You're strongly advised to upgrade, disable, or uninstall these plugins before upgrading. Now this whole upgrading uh, or migrating um, uh, process is, um, it has lots of steps to it. We'll be covering it in other videos on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and ring the bell to get notifications of those. For right now, I just want you to see that in the tool here and on this particular site, I'm not ready to update this to Joomla 4 because there's a lot of things I need to check into. So for instance, this system, advanced custom fields, I'm getting a message. Uh, it could cause problems. So the version that I have here does not tell me whether it's for Joomla 4 or not. Now, it's possible that I have an older version, although it doesn't show up updates being available. What I need to do is go over here to the right. Let me see, this is Tassos Mer uh, uh, Marinos. Um, go to his site, tassos.gr, and I can look for information about this extension, if there's an update or what's going on. And I could always, uh, I, could, I could maybe shoot a tweet to him, follow him on Twitter. Uh, anyways, contact him and get the information I need about my site before going over here and actually updating. Now, if Tassos comes back and says, oh, uh, yes, here you need to, it's not ready yet, then I'm going to wait for the extension to be updated. Uh, another example here, let's just go down here. Uh, regular Labs Advanced Module Manager from Regular Labs. Let's go over, we'll click on Regular Labs and we will go to their homepage. We'll scroll down a bit, look at this. Here's our plans. Uh, Joomla 4 plans and roadmap. So we're looking for advanced module manager. You can read about this. And as we scroll down, let's see, here's different things. Advanced module manager is not going to be released until it'll be released by early 2020. Uh, sorry, 2022 that Peter says. So I know right away that if this is an extension I rely heavily upon, and it is, I'm not going to be updating this site until it comes out, uh, as Peter says, uh, by early 2022. And so uh, now let's scroll down and see something else. Let's say um, JotCash, all right? Jot marker from JotCash. I don't think that Jot Components is being used in Joomla 4. This is a caching program I really like to use in Joomla 3. Uh, but if I understand right, uh, Vladimir is not going to uh, continue on with the project. And so there will be no Joomla 4 version. So what I could do is after going and confirming that by going to jotcomponents.net oh, over here, I could actually go up to my Joomla install, go extensions, manage and install. No, oh, sorry, uh, manage, manage. And I have two choices here. I can, uh, so let's search for jotcache. Ah, uh, okay, I can search for that. Now I can unpublish these plugins or I can just remove them because I'm not going to use them in Joomla 4. I'm going to leave them installed right now because I know because Advanced Module Manager is not um, going to be out until early 2022, I'm going to keep, uh, I'm not going to update the site. So I'm going to keep using JotCache. But if I were going, if this were the last extension for me before updating, before being able to try to update the Joomla and stay tuned for the pro tip about that. If this were the last extension on my site that I was that I had that was not ready for Joomla 4, I could simply check these boxes and uninstall. Or I could just uh, disable them and they'll no longer uh, be affecting the install of the site. But in that case, I would just uninstall this. Now, the pro tip. If you find that your site is... Uh, all ready to go to Joomla 4. You have no warnings. All the extensions you have, it says, yeah, everything's okay. Don't just update. Make a backup of your site. Don't just migrate. Make a backup of your site. Install it in another folder, a subdirectory, and I'll have tutorials on how to do that on the channel. And then run through the whole update thing just in case something was missed. Because if something doesn't work, you can always go back to your live site and it will be working. And if your test site does update and everything's fine, all you have to do is go back and run that update again on your live site and you'll be good. So for now though, in Joomla 3.10, there is the Joomla, uh, compatible, Joomla 4 compatibility test, Joomla update. Uh, use that and follow it to the letter 
do not migrate from 3.10 to Joomla 4 until all of the warnings on the live update screen are gone and then you'll be safe to update but test it first on a site that's not your live site. I hope that was helpful for you. Like I said, there's a ton of stuff coming along for Joomla 4 here on the channel and on how, how to migrate and other issues that uh, you may run into or I run into as I work on sites from 310 to 4. You don't want to miss it. It'll save you time and money and tears uh, by following along some of these the helpful tips and advice here in the channel. So I hope you subscribe. Ring the bell to get notifications of new live streams. Hey, give this video a like. It'll help others to find it. And until the next time, enjoy your Juma sites and God bless.